All right, good morning, folks. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a top secret calculator that is still in developmental phase. I call it the simple fuel loading calculator that can be used with simple transects as well as traditional Brown's intersect transects or any type of planar transect for that matter. The idea came about when I started a new job that required the validation of tonnage estimates. I started doing transects and then quickly found out what a nightmare it was to do the equations to calculate the fuel loading. I scoured the internet looking for an easy to use program and found that they all had been integrated into some other consumption or emission models that had every bell and whistle you could possibly want. What they didn't have was simplicity. I just needed to know the tonnage. I didn't want to use a program that would take 200 plus inputs to get an answer. The second thing I needed was something quick, easy, and mobile since I was out in the field most of the time. An easy app that I could hold in my hand while I was on site and figure out what my tonnage was right there and then. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of researchers, scientists, and graduates with plural doctorate degrees that deserve credit in one way or another for this calculator, and I'm sure I don't know all of them. But among the few key players are ODF meteorologist Pete Parsons for putting together the programming for this calculator, Roger Otmar, Susan Pritchard for the work on fuel loading, coarse woody debris, stumps, shrubs, litter and duff equation, as well as the consumed 4.2 formulas. Equations for down woody debris were based off James Brown circa 1974, handbook for inventory down woody material. Specific wood densities came from the engineeringtoolbox.org website. Wood densities with a range were interpolated to an average so that one integer value was assigned. Specific wood gravities came from USDA's gravity and other properties of wood and bark for 156 tree species found in North America by Patrick Miles and Brad Smith on Table 5. Specific gravity is for tree genius, then averaged into eight categories. Basal accumulations and squirrel middens are not calculated into the final tonnage at this time. Along with several other folks who are currently helping to vet out this calculator, including but not limited to Nick Yonker, Rick Graw, Allison Dean, Paige Eagle, and a host of other people much smarter than I. So here's from one grunt to another. I hope this calculator makes your life easier. So here we are on the fuel loading tool homepage. Uh, if you click the piles icon, that will take you to the University of Washington's piled biomass fuels emission uh, calculator, the one that I've been uh, suggesting that people use, um, and I and talked about it in a previous video. If you're wanting to cali calculate your tally from your transects, then you need to pick this broadcast and under Burns icon. And once you click that, it'll bring you right up to the fuel loading tool. So. A lot of this is pretty intuitive. Uh, your unit name, you're going to put in your name. Uh, what is your primary fuel species for your downed woody debris? So here you have some options. You pick what you want based on the, the, the genus categorized together for what's close in, in the gravities. Um, okay, so how many feet is your transect? Um, for zero to quarter, you put in how many feet you used, and then how many pieces did you count. Uh, number four, how many feet for your transit for counting quarter to one inch. How many pieces for, how many pieces did you count for that quarter to one? Let's give it uh, let's say eight, and then. Another thing that we tried to do for ease of sight is we color coded uh, when you kind of change categories. So this is your zero to quarter, here's your quarter to one, mm -hmm. and now we're going into one to threes, which has a different color. So you'll kind of notice that as well to help you keep track of where you're at on the on the form. Uh, then we're into one to three down Woody, and how many feet, how many pieces did you count, and then greater than three inch, we're into the um, coarse woody debris at this point. Mm -hmm. And so how many feet did we do for that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. on your greater than three inch pieces, they're going to ask for sound and rotten pieces. How many did you count and what was the average diameter? Your 
the first part of question 9a is how many how many pieces did you count so let's say we counted two and I just simply put the two in there and then the next question they ask you is what is the, di the average diameter um, of those logs so what you're supposed to do in this is you're supposed to get the square root of each log diameter so let's say you have a log that's four four inches in diameter you just simply click your four you find your little square root key on your calculator boom the square root of four is two um, then let's say we have another one that's uh, nine inches long again you click nine click your little square root symbol square root of nine is three so now we have two and three so you add three plus two and you got five you that's that's the the summation of your square root diameters and then in order to get the average you divide it by the number of pieces you had so you divide that five by the two and now you have 2.5 so you go to put 2.5 in here and if you were to hit submit your form would give you an error because it says here the increments are 3 to 48 inches increments of 1 so you're not going to round down you're going to round up to 3 inches that is the average diameter of the square root of your sound pieces so that's technically how you do that if you if you do it the other way and you just add your diameters um, and then divide that to get your average without square rooting it um, the calculations in there will will figure that out for you but um, technically that's how you're supposed to put that in there so then when you move down to rotten pieces it's the same thing you got sound pieces and you got rotten pieces you wanna you wanna put those you wanna differentiate those Let's see we didn't have any rotten ones so I put down zero and then I put zero here now again we're in development mode and that's why I'm showing you these um, little glitches that we're still working at if you put a zero in and you submit the form you're gonna get another error because again it asks for between 3 to 48 so you've got to put a 3 in there and you're saying but I don't have a 3 inch diameter log yeah it'll multiply it by what you put up here by 0 so 3 times 0 is what 0 so not to worry the calculation will come out right the next I think are pretty pretty intuitive so what's your average slope so let's say we got a 30% slope here how many acres are you gonna burn let's say a hundred and then ask for stumps the same thing as before how many stumps per acres was the average height of those stumps? Um, let's say they're two feet. Or oh, that one's inches. Twenty-four. And then average diameter, also in inches. Let's say they're twelve. Same thing up here. Again, putting those numbers in because of what they're asking, but it's going to multiply it by zero. In your primary litter species, um, we basically give you some options here. You've got short needle, long needle pine, other conifer, deciduous, evergreen, palm, fronds, or grass. Um, so you pick your your litter species. Now, now, why did I ask for litter species here, and then also ask for the primary fuel species up top? Um, just wanted to give you guys an, an ability to write down what's the litter on the ground because the litter on the ground I have found is sometimes different from your canopy. You might have a, a cedar tree canopy but you'll have pondo needles on the ground because um, there's some pondos nearby that are blowing into your into your space. So looking at the litter of the ground fuels. What's your average depth in inches? So that's pretty simple to, to figure out. What percentage of the ground is covered? Oh, let's say 95 and the average depth of your duff percent ground cover it does matter whether it's broadleaf evergreen or sage and bitter brush so you pick that you give it a number what's the percentage of ground cover and the average height get all that in there you click submit data this program again is just available fuel loading it assumes everything is dry and available to consume so this is what could this is worst case scenario um, after you get your fuel loaded you can take those numbers and put them into any other consumption model you want to you want to put it into but this gives you what's available out there
total tons per acre, 5677. Now you're looking at that number going, what? That's really huge. That's a lot of a lot of tonnage. So you have to really keep in mind that the older um, calculations, they only calculated your fine woody debris, your ones, tens, hundreds, and then the thousand hours for your coarse woody debris. They didn't calculate your stumps or your litter or your duff or your shrubs. Now we have equations and technology to calculate that stuff. Consume can calculate it. Um, we're getting better numbers. But this is why the numbers seem more higher is because we're, we're calculating more. And it's, it's more accurate to what's really happening out there. Obviously, stumps and litter and duff is burning. Maybe not all of it. You're maybe not burning all your litter. You're maybe not burning all your duff unless it's really, really dry. But uh, for right now, this is what's possibly available out there at a worst case scenario. <clears throat> and then the bottom part here re-summarizes what you entered in case you're like, like, did I, what did I put in for these things? You can go back down, check your numbers. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to put down, you know, 95% litter. I meant to put down whatever the number was. So, um, yeah, again, this is uh, coming out soon as we develop it and continue to vet it. Um, feel free to experiment with it. It is functional. You can get your available tonnage. Just keep in mind that it currently is showing total available. Um, and there's a few little different equations or how we're coming up with the numbers that we're still working on.